Hey, Justin Chamnitz here with the Real Estate Wholesalers Club, where we're all about getting you to your first deal in real estate wholesaling, getting to that shut up money, that first deal money where you can tell your doubts and your fears and all the naysayers, hey, it really works, shut up. Today, I've got two excerpts from two different coaching calls from my one-on-one -on -one coaching students at the Real Estate Wholesalers Club, and I want to play a couple of excerpts for you so you can get a little insight as to what that's like. And also, we're talking about wholesaling lease options. So if you're interested in wholesaling lease options, this is a great, great video for you to watch because these guys are just getting started, like many of you, and they've got probably the same questions. So don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and check us out at realestatewholesalersclub.com. But let's go ahead and jump right in to these two excerpt one-on-one -on -one coaching calls with me and my students. It is Adam and Ron. A hundred bucks a month, whatever it is, sign me up, you know. Um, and it, what I like about it is it, it's not just a pre-made course, if you will. Yeah. You know, you, you're offering a lot more than that. That's, that's how I first got started in the, into uh, wholesaling was I bought a course from a gentleman, uh, Justin Wilmot. Yeah. I'm sure you heard of him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hour work week. <laughs> yeah. And so that was my introduction into wholesaling. Right. Yeah. Um, and it was great. Don't get me wrong there. Uh, you know, I, um, uh, no bad feelings about paying for the course. And, uh, I feel like it's a lot of good information up front gets you the general idea, um, of, of kind of how you should be looking to work and, and what to expect, I guess. Um, but you know that, and that was kind of my, my foundation of wholesaling, um, in itself was that course and, and just studying from there. And then, you know, I found your, you and, and, and your videos, um, and, and your group there on Facebook. So that helped a lot as well. Um, but I think, you know, overall, at least for me, it's taken a while. I'm, I'm younger. I've never actually bought a house myself. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm younger. I haven't been through that process yet. So for me, a lot of this, the lingo and, uh, you know, different terms and, um, acronyms and whatnot that that took a lot for me to to learn or time wise to learn and fully understand how one complements or benefits or affects another one you know and how they all kind of play together sure uh, and so that's what this last I would say eight months really have been is me just continuously learning about real estate foundation of it uh, the basic principles of it yeah and that way I'm not sounding like a complete idiot going out talking to somebody and not know a damn clue what I'm talking about, just spitballing, you know? Sure. sure. So that's what my focus has been on, but, um, you know, I'm always ready to make money. Um, but I, I think now I'm at a point to where I feel comfortable. I, I'm ready. I, I feel a lot more comfortable with the knowledge that I've gained or just the basic understanding, I guess, and the principles of it um, to be able to approach people a lot more comfortably. Yeah, you, good. You know? Are you wanting to do ugly house wholesaling or pretty house stuff? Um, you know, to be honest with you, uh, I'm open to either, but I would rather, honestly, I was looking into the lease option. Yeah, right so, on. I like that, man. I, I don't know a lot about it, but I think that would kind of be the route that I'd want to take my first deal to. Great, great. Glad to hear it, man. That's what I'm looking for, too. I'm looking for new dudes to do wholesale lease options. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, man. Um, I, I got started doing wholesaling lease options. That's how, that's the very first deal I ever did in my whole life was a wholesale lease option. And um, I since progressed kind of, I, I don't know why, but I felt like I wasn't really a wholesaler. Like I wasn't a real wholesaler until I could do ugly house stuff. Uh -huh. So I worked real hard to do ugly house stuff. And then I kind of put away doing wholesale lease options for a while. And then kind of got back into it a little bit, just sporadically. But man, I, I really now, this summer, I said it a couple months ago, I think on the free group, that I'm really making a push for wholesale and lease options. And I really mean that, like in my own business. So okay. uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to direct my acquisitions team to, to and, and build a new acquisitions team and a new dispositions team <laughs> okay. to do wholesale and lease options everywhere nationwide. And so, man, you picked a topic that I'm really passionate about right now. I'm very stoked about it. So, yeah, I'm glad to hear that. And there's a really easy system to get there to doing deals that way. And uh, there's guys in the group doing it right now. 
and you could be the you could be the next one. Yeah, I'm ready for it, man. I'm ready to take it on, um, and you know, work through any challenges and learn. I, I think just having some guidance is what's going to help me the most because when I do it on my own, as you as you probably know, sometimes when you do things on your own, you still don't you know you make a decision, but you don't know if it's right or wrong until you're anticipating, right? Yeah. Uh, and you have nobody to bounce that off of. And that's a lot of my fear drums from, man, I'm in this alone and I'm a newbie. I haven't been through a lot of this. I'm meeting all these brand new people and I don't want to look like a fool. Right. Well, what's great about wholesaling lease options is, is that analyzing the property deals is way by far easier than analyzing a property deal on the ugly house side. Okay. And you know, on the, on the ugly house side, you've got to consider what the after repair value is and you have to establish that through comparable sales Right. And then you kind of have to know what the repair, you know, bill is going to be on the thing and or approximation and then run your run your formula on it to leave 30 percent or whatever it is to the, right. you know, profits to the buyer. So, you know, it's not complicated, but on the ho- on the wholesale ugly house side, that's what it is. But on the wholesale lease option side, it's like, hey, um, does this person owe somewhere near or are they trying to sell this house somewhere near? what the appraisal value would be in two or three years. That's pretty easy to establish. And then it's, Hey, can we get this rented out somewhere near the fair market rent for the neighborhood? And that's really it, man. It's just two. Okay. Things. And, and mostly it's the first part of that usually works itself out. And then the second part is just analyzing if, Hey, you know, is there payment somewhere around what this could rent for? And if it is, that's a deal, you know, that's a possible deal. So, Right. You know, it's super easy, man. And uh, yeah, it's a great place for people to get going and to build confidence and to get a little money going and, uh, you know, kind of feel like, hey, I'm really, I'm actually doing something here and it's making me money. So right. now I can branch out and do ugly house or do bank owned wholesaling or whatever, what have you. Exactly. So um, I am assuming you've probably watched the training videos over there at realestatewholesalersclub.com on wholesaling lease options and the four weeks to your first deal, virtual wholesale lease option deal. Yes, I have. (laughs) Okay, good. I was going to recommend if you haven't, uh, try to check that out. Yeah, and I, to be honest, I've I've watched them, um, but not all together. I need to sit back down and go through all of them again. Okay. uh, Just to refresh, you know, but I have Okay, good. I would do that. And then um, if you're at realestatewholesalersclub.com in the free modules, then uh, go ahead and download the paperwork. And if if you follow the steps in the videos, it'll pretty much get you where I want you to go. And that's, um, you know, getting the paperwork edited with your name and number and logo. You know, do you have a Google Hangouts phone number or something like this, a number you want to use? Yeah. Okay, great. Then, you know, it's editing some of that paperwork and making it yours, putting your name and stuff on it. And then, you know, make yourself familiar with the agreements while you're there. Okay. Um, yeah, so just kind of get, get a good foundation this week of what's up with that stuff. And, and then next week what we'll do is, is we'll get you set up on automated REI. Okay. And or whenever you're ready, we'll get you set up on automated REI and get you rocking and rolling with doing some data scrapes and getting ready to do some blasting of text messages so that you can then have conversations with only the yeses and the maybes and never the noes. Okay. I like that. Yeah. I like that too, dude. It didn't didn't, didn't used to be that way, man. It used to be, I was calling through the, the classified section of the local newspaper. That's what it used to be. Oh, wow. So, you know, I like this system a whole lot better, a whole lot better. Uh, yeah, so if you just get the foundation out of you this week and get those, like, get that leave, it's called the seller leave behind. It's in, like, module one or two of that training over at realestatewholesalersclub.com. So if you get your name and all that stuff on it and get the paperwork out and kind of get, get it adjusted with your name and information on it and stuff, then uh, next week we'll be ready to jump into our um, – you know, the automated REI. Okay. And then you should be having, and the following week after that, you know, you should be having conversations with people and getting the low hang, low hanging fruit. <laughs> right on. That's my hand signal for low hanging fruit. I don't know why. <laughs> I'll accept it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, low hanging fruit, man. It's not a sales gig. 
It's not a gig where you got to twist him by his arm. You don't have to talk him into it. Right. They're going to respond to the text message. Yes. Or maybe, and you're going to call them. They've already said yes. <laughs> okay. Right. You're really just having a conversation with them and like confirming with them, um, answering any questions, very much making them like you. That's a big part of it. And then moving on into, Hey, I'll send you the agreement and uh, we'll get started on this right away. Okay. That's it, man. Um, you got any questions so far? No, I don't believe so. So I, what I would anticipate is if you can put in the time and, uh, and which isn't really a whole lot of time, but you know, put in a little bit of consistency to it. You should be at a deal sometime in the next 30 days, man. Okay. That's awesome. That's what yeah. I'm looking for, man. I think, uh, you know, once I get a couple of deals under the belt, like you were saying, yeah. I'll have a lot more confidence to branch out. Just knowing that, hey, man, I can make money on my own. You know, this is all me or I'm not working for somebody else making this type of money. Right. Uh, that's going to give me the confidence to just go, you know, go out and, and basically say, screw the fears, get over them. Let's do this, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um, two, you know, when you get that shut up money, um, it, it's going to give you, uh, a little bit of opportunity to get some better tools or to try different techniques and kind of explore a little bit and discover the things that you love most about real estate wholesaling. I, I definitely recommend that, that everybody start here if they don't know where to start. So I, I love the, the path you've selected. And, uh, I really think that exactly how you started this conversation with this is kind of catered to, you know, it's not like a for, like a, uh, like a formula, like, Hey, this is, this is going to one size fits all, you know, this right. is more like I'm catering it to you. And, um, uh, but yet it is a simple recipe all, all the same. Yes. So, you know, I step everybody through the same type of thing, but what's different about this particular coaching set is that once you get to the position of sending out text messages and you've got questions of people saying yes. And what do I say? Or, Hey, I've got a phone call with a seller at four o'clock. What do I do? Uh -huh. um, okay, great. Then, you know, just set it up with me and me and you will do the call once or, you know, once or twice or two or three times or whatever, we'll talk to sellers together if, if you need that. Okay. And then you'll, you'll feel like, you know, you've got a little bit more experience. You've heard me, you know, you've heard my pitch, which right. is honestly about 30 seconds, 45 seconds, man. <laughs> and it's really okay. quick. And, but most of it is just listening to them, making them like you. And then your pitch is about 30 seconds long. And, okay. and then, you know, they've already said yes, dog. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's true. you know you're not trying to you're not trying to convince anybody you're just trying to get that low that low hanging fruit <laughs> right yeah you gotta grab it <laughs> you gotta get it man when you can get it you gotta get it when the getting's good right that's right <laughs> all right well excellent man I, have i been uh confusing enough for you no you're good man you're straight okay. oh, it's fine. awesome man i appreciate it yeah, so anything I can do to help you along the way, don't hesitate to holler at me. Shut up, money. Yeah. So um, is there is there a script there is there a script for when I call people back or Yes, there is, but it's not very good. And the reason why it's not very good is because they always ask a question that's not on the script or they always don't follow the order of the script. So like, I'm not big on scripts. I like scripts, but mostly it's just memorizing a 30 to 45 second pitch, which I'll show you when we get on the phone with these guys, or I can do it before. But basically, it amounts to this. Uh, hi, Mr. Seller uh, or Mr. Landlord or whoever it may be. Hi, I was just talking to you over text and uh, about leasing for 24 to 36 months and then selling. And then they'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, we were getting a text from you. Yo, is this, is this you? Yeah, this is me. Uh, my name is Ron. And uh, I was calling because we have, uh, we're real estate investors and we have some great tenants that would love to buy but they need 24 to 36 months in order to buy. And so what I'd like to do is uh, just propose that to you. You know, you already said that this is something you could rent until you, you could buy. Um, why would that work out for you or, or, or would that work out for you? And, and then they'll just tell you what's up. They'll tell you the pain and the motives and why it would be okay or not. 
<laughs> like, hey, I'll send you the agreement. That's about the gist of it. Okay. It's like, it's not hard. And to write that down in a script, I think it's, it's too complicated to write it down. <laughs> even, yeah. though even though it's that simple, man, it's just like, hey, you know, we're real estate investors. We have tenant buyers that would love to, we have tenants that would love to buy, but they need 24 to 36 months. Is this something that you could do on this property? And the answer is usually yes or no, or maybe and they've already said yes. So you're just confirming. And then you're, okay. you're answering any questions they have. You're kind of bullshitting with them a little bit. And then you're going to send them the agreement. I mean, it's really not hard at all. It's not even a sales thing. Not really. Not, not for motivating. Yeah. Because they've already said yes on the text. See, so it's like, it's basically just getting on the phone, confirming with them, making them like you, making them, making sure they understand that you're there to answer any questions and to, you know, help them through this, you know, but also that you're here to solve their problem. I, I, it's super, super, super easy. It's more a numbers game than it is a difficult sales game, man. Okay. What kind so, of, what, what, now, what kind of filters am I pulling for Zillow and Craigslist? You know, on wholesale lease options, I don't recommend people really do any filters at all on Zillow because, you know, you can do wholesale lease options on pretty much anything. Um, you know, you, you can you can miss deals if you put a lot of filters in there. What, what I really recommend is for filters is if somebody's trying to find landlords for ugly houses or they're trying to do something like this for a specific cash buyer pool. But, but on wholesale lease options, you're not don't go into markets where you're like way over two hundred thousand dollars in value if you can help it okay try to stay in the blue collar but but really anything in that neck of the woods works man anywhere okay um now that, that's what i was asking is there a set price i should go up to like stay in the median middle class range or something like that yeah 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 perfect that's exactly it just stay in the median middle class you know range where blue collar stuff you know like they don't um you know they're not they're not unemployed but they 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 work at the factory they don't own the factory but they work at the factory building cars or you know that kind of guy okay those neighborhoods where people live like you know like you and me really okay <laughs> <laughs> Now, am I doing for rent and for sale by owners or just one or the other? Yes, I would do both. Do both? I would do for sale by owners first, and then I would move to for rent. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's just my personal preference. But it's not it's not written in stone. You could do it any order you want. Okay. Do you do, you do sandwich lease options at all in your market? Do I do sandwiches? I used to, man. But I got burnt a couple times. To be honest with you, I, I oh, got really? burnt. I got burnt several times. Yeah, so, so, and, so, and so, so I, I don't really not to have any ties, right, to the property. Just just assign your lease. That's man, it. Right? That's why I love wholesaling lease options because I don't have to get burned. You know yeah. I mean? Um, ever, ever, ever. And how I got burned before was I had a you know, a few tenants destroy the property and leave me with a property in shambles oh, God. that I was responsible for ultimately. So uh, I've learned some hard lessons and part of that was really all of it was my fault, but I didn't really pre-screen the tenant buyers too good. I should have done a better job. <laughs> but yes, with the wholesale lease options, you have none of those concerns whatsoever. But with sandwich lease, yeah, man, if, if I'm going to do a sandwich lease nowadays, I better make sure that it is really cash flowing well. Okay. Well, what's your minimum requirement for cash flow? Like 300? Yeah, three, 400, maybe five, you know, depends on, <laughs> depends, you know, and, and if I got a really strong tenant buyer, I might, I might consider staying in the middle. Okay. You know? But it's got to be when the stars align and it's right, man. It's got to be right all around. Otherwise, you're taking risks unnecessarily. Yeah, so it's better, yeah, better just, uh, just to get out of the property and make, make you quick money. Yeah, I, I, I recommend that people don't try doing the sandwiches until they've done a few, at least a handful of these wholesale lease option deals. And then they can get a good feel for what they're doing. And uh, if they want to then hang on to one, you know, that makes more sense. Okay. All right. So I think I pretty much uh, just do the marketing. Um, 
reply to their message and try to get a contract. That's, that's it, man. Next up. That's it, dude. Okay, here's how I want you to think about it, though. I want you to think about it about like doing the data scrape and then doing a blast and then just going and picking up the low hanging fruit. That's it. And be, be patient and just get the low hanging fruit. Cause that's basically what you're getting here. You're getting the low hanging fruit. So, you know, with wholesale lease options, uh, you're going to do a blast. I want you to try to shoot for like 1500 scrapes over the next month. And then you're going to end up text blasting probably six, 700 of those. And you're going to end up having a good number of yeses to talk to, and you'll have some deals to close. Absolutely. That's exactly how it works. That's exactly how it works. 1500 in the same market. Like you can really? actually, you can't scrape 1500 at the same time. It caps right. you off at, at 500 automated REI will max you out at 500 rows each time you scrape. Okay. So you're going to end up having to do two or three scrapes at least. So you might as well consider moving into different markets. That that would be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Same same yeah. county, probably different zip codes, right? Yeah. Or uh, you know, or even a different market altogether. It really won't matter, man. Oh, okay. You do these anywhere. It's virtual, so you can you know you can tie these up anywhere and place a tenant buyer from your location there. Okay. Now, what's your question? Do you like this better than uh, traditional wholesaling? I do like it for getting started better. Yeah. Um, it, it's very much easier to get going on in my opinion than traditional ugly house wholesaling. And not only that, uh, it's how I got started originally. So, I mean, I, I, I love this technique and it's really one of the funnest techniques that there is to do real estate wholesaling, but I, but I've grown to love ugly house wholesaling a lot. And I still do that too. Of course. Which one, which one now do you have more success with now that you're you know more invested? You know, now that I'm more invested, I have more success with the one I've put my most attention on. And that is <laughs> the ugly house wholesaling. Okay. And, uh, but right now I'm trying to change that C and I'm trying to develop some nationwide stuff going on with the wholesale lease options with guys like you from our group. Well, that's, and you know, what's funny is when we were talking, I think the last call about the JV deal group. Yeah. And uh, I yeah I see that you that you're in the group now. Yeah. Um, that's another thing I'm gonna get kicked off too. Is that JB deals? Yeah. Nationwide. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Well, you know, it's all about developing a buyer side. You know. Right. <laughs> you know, being able to place the tenant buyers for everybody. Um. Uh, right. If you're gonna be collecting contracts from people to sell off, so. You know, that's, that's all, that's the trick to it. Hi, my name is Ron. I'm a real estate investor. Is this property something you could lease out for 24 to 36 months, then sell at full asking price or full value, sell at full value? Yes, no, or maybe. I said that again because you totally yeah. just. <clears throat> yeah. Hi, my name is Ron. Can you say that all again? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. I can hear you. Okay. Hi, my name is Ron. <laughs> I'm a real estate investor. <laughs> is this property something you could lease for 24 to 36 months, then sell at full value? Yes, no, or maybe. That's it. And you'll get yeses, nos, and maybes. All right, so that's the message, man. Um, if you are uh, in need of assistance with some of that, uh, when you're doing it, just hit me up and I'll, I'll try to get back with you as quick as I can. Hey, Justin Chamis here again. I hope you really enjoyed those two excerpts from two one-on-one -on -one coaching calls between me and my students this week. I really think that wholesaling lease options is an excellent place for people to get started. And if you're looking to get started, there's no better place than to start at realestatewholesalersclub.com. Get your free training. We have four weeks to your first virtual wholesale lease option deal training there. Those are training modules. They come complete with agreements and resources, everything you need to get started the right way and at no cost to you. Okay, that's the best part. It's free. 
We put it together right there for you, made, made for you to be benefited by you. So go check it out. And you'll also find links there to, to meet up with us on the Facebook group where we're very positive, very interactive, and where we also have live Zoom Q&A every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Time, U.S. So go check us out there. Hey, thank you for watching. I love you, and we'll see you again soon. Hey, thanks for watching. But don't forget to post, introduce yourself, tag a friend, like us, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video, just do something. Don't just sit there. There's all that money out there. You got to get going, get in motion. This is motion real estate.